with the increasing reports of people who suddenly slumped and died across the country owing to cardiac arrests, different silent killer diseases and poor lifestyle, coupled with the nature of work in various government offices, it became pertinent for the government to educate civil servants on basic life support skills to help themselves or others during emergency health situations. Declaring the workshop open, the state head of service, Mr. Reginald Bayoko, said, though the content of the workshop did not directly relate to activities of civil servants, the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic had shown that beyond the basic and advanced skills required for effectiveness and efficiency in the civil service, it was important to know how best to provide first aid care in emergencies to save lives and prevent avoidable deaths. Mr. Bayoko urged the participants who were drawn from various ministries in the state civil service to take the workshop serious and use the knowledge gained to impact the environment for the benefit of the society at large. My charge to you this morning is that uh, no matter how short uh, the time is, no matter what uh, the feelings that you may have brought here, I would just encourage uh, you all to actively uh, participate, uh, listen carefully, and I'm sure at the end of the day, there will be one or two lessons that you can take, not just to help yourself, but to help the larger society, which I think is the essence of this great workshop. The Chief Executive Officer of the Reins Caregivers, Pharmacist Loretta Uka, said the organization made up of medical professionals were concerned about the situation in the country, hence had embarked on a mission to train and create job opportunities for youths to provide support to the health sector. Pharmacist Uka said after the training, participants will be provided with certificates and given a test that will qualify them to register with the American Heart Association, AHA, a non-profit voluntary health agency dedicated to the reduction of death and disability from cardiovascular diseases, including heart diseases and stroke. Rain Caregivers is an organization we are into training, we are into wellness. Our servants are very hardworking, very busy people. I don't even know how much time they have for their families to show how very busy they are. And civil servants are part of society. So if one is able to train how many civil servants, then you'll be able to impact in a society. Because they will impact in their families, they will impact in society. It's, it's a lifelong knowledge. The participants lauded the state government for the training. How to do proper skills, the right skills on how to go about resuscitating such a person who is at the verge of you know, giving up life. So that is the whole essence of the training. And we believe that at the end of the training, we'll be able to apply them to real life situations. We commend the state government for this type of uh, workshop. And still advise that they can still schedule it for more civil servants to have knowledge of it. The two-day training is featuring lectures from resource persons, including consultants in anesthesia and critical care. The opening ceremony was attended by the Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Civil Service Matters, Mr. Ima Okafo, the Functioning Permanent Secretary in the Office of the State Head of Service, Mr. Patrick Ujibulu, and his establishment and pensions counterpart, Eunice Emeyazia, reporting.